It's no secret that Ninjago's timeline is weird and confusing, and with that also comes the question of how old our favorite characters are. With a few exceptions, we don't really know the exact age of the Ninjago characters. That's why, over the course of two videos, I'm going to be estimating the age of each important Ninjago character. I'm Daily Roller, and welcome to part one of How Old Are Ninjago Characters. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we start with my estimations, and yes, this is an estimation, not a confirmation. I'm not confirming the Ninjago character's ages. It's an estimation, not an actual fact. That being said, you will likely disagree with some of my choices. And secondly, yes, this is part one of two parts, and in this video we'll be covering the six main ninja and all the characters from seasons one to four. The next video will cover everything from season five to eleven. And third, as I said before, logic is not really present in Ninjago's timeline, and so some of my guesses won't really make sense when compared to other characters or events, so be warned. Let's begin with the green ninja, Lloyd. And so Lloyd, I'm gonna say around 16 years old. During the events of Rise of the Snakes, I would guess that he was probably around 10 years old. Then he did take the Tomorrow scene season season 2 of course, and I would guess that he's probably somewhere in his teens now. I don't think he would be older than 16 or 17, because just a year ago in the Ninjago timeline, he was voiced by Jillian Michaels and had a more childish sounding voice. So for Cole, I do think that he is the oldest of the ninja team, and it makes sense, I mean he is definitely the most mature of the ninja, he's also very independent, there is a reason why he was the original leader of the ninja team, so I think 19 would be a good estimate for him. Kai is probably somewhere in the middle of the ninja team, so I think 17 or 18 would be the right age for him. He's been pretty childish at times, but also serious too, such as times like Zane's funeral. I'm also going to say 18 for Jay. He and Kai are probably the same age in my opinion, whether it be 18 or another number, and for many of the same reasons too, I mean Jay can be very serious, but most of the time he's also pretty crazy. I would say that Zane was prior to season 11, probably around 40 years old, maybe built around the beginning of the Serpentine War, and Dr. Julian died sometime after Garmadon was banished, around 10 years before the series started, so that was would add for a total of 40 years. However, season 11 will make Zane a lot older, and that's because time is a lot faster in the Neverrealm, and when Zane is sent there and becomes the Ice Emperor, he rules for several decades. One or two decades is probably too little to count as several decades, so I think three is a reasonable estimate, bringing Zane to a total of 70 years. Nia is also one of the younger ninja, and she is Kai's little sister, and probably around two to three years younger than him, so use your epic math skills, 18 minus two is 16. Season 11 does shed some light on Wu's age, and it does state that Asphira was banished a thousand years prior to the series, and and Wu and Garmadon were kids a thousand years ago, apparently. By this point in time, he already knew Spinjitsu and had some basic fighting skills, but he was still young enough to be manipulated by Asphira. So I would say that Wu was around 1200 years old. And I'm also going to go with the same number for Garmadon. Yes, I do know that he is the older brother, and I would probably estimate that he is a decade or a few years older than Wu. And if we were getting specific, maybe somewhere like 1215, but overall his number would still round to 1200. For his wife, Misako, I'm going to say anywhere in her late 50s, and this would make her around 15 to 20 when she was in the Serpentine War, which I think would make sense. And also I think this age range also makes sense for the modern Misako, because she can still fight and stuff, but at the same time she's definitely kind of older looking. Samakai was probably in his 60s when he died. Earlier in his life, he was defeated by Wu and Garmanon, which is why he became a skeleton and was sent to the Underworld in the first place. And this is why he already knows who the brothers are in the mini-movie and Underworldly Takeover. I estimate that Samakai was 30 to 40 when he was banished to the Underworld, meaning he likely ruled for around two decades before Garmanon took control. Like Misako, I'm gonna say late 50s for Pythor, and for many of the same reasons too. I mean, we do know that he was around during the time of the Serpentine War, and I would guess that he was probably a young adult or a teenager during that time. His right hand man, Scales, is 50, and Scales would probably be around 10 during the time of the Serpentine War. It wasn't actually confirmed whether he was even alive at that time, which is why I've placed him as younger than Pythor. I think that this one is a little less debatable than some of the other ones, but Ed and Edna are probably in their 60s, I mean, just judging by their appearance and their wrinkles and stuff, and the way they talk, I think 60 would be a reasonable estimate. I can see Lua as being one of the younger ninja parents, I mean obviously he isn't full grandpa or boomer if you will as Dr. Julian is, and he still has brown hair and such so I think he's probably one of the younger parents. And it could also work with Cole's backstory well, I mean imagine if he was a younger more inexperienced parent and he wasn't prioritizing the right things, so I think that could work, so I'm gonna say 50 for him. Next up is the beloved Ultra Dragon, and the big question here is, what exactly is young by dragon standards? I mean, we know the Ultra Dragon is a younger dragon, they essentially hit puberty in season 1 and go off to fuse into one dragon, but again, the big question is, how young is young? And I could see anywhere from a few decades to a few millennia working out, and I personally think the Ultra Dragon is at least a thousand years old. We know that Oni and probably dragons live very long lives, so a millennium wouldn't be too much in the big picture. And for the Great Devourer, I'm also going to say around a millennium. I mean, this definitely ties into Wu and Garmanon's age. If they're around a thousand years old, then the Great Devourer probably is too. I would guess that the Great Devourer bite happened sometime after the Asphira incident, but again, that is totally up to debate. So anywhere around a thousand years old would work for the Great Devourer. 
And for the Grand Sensei himself, Dareth, I'm gonna say around 30 years old, I mean he does have an apartment in the city and he also runs a karaoke bar. He also had his epic Mojo Dojo before it got written out of the show, and then again he also has a crush on Gale Gossip, so yeah, I mean I think 30 would be good for him. I would say that Captain Soto is probably in his mid 40s, maybe 45. He does have a few wrinkles coming up on his face, but other than that, I mean his voice isn't too older sounding and he still can fight and fend for himself. Gail Gossip's gotta be somewhere in her 20s, I mean, she does have a young sounding voice, and then again, Dareth also has the hots for her, so yeah. The Overlord is Ninjago's first evil, and presumably formed sometime after Ninjago was created. So the key question is when exactly Ninjago was created in the first place. The Overlord mentions in episode 25 that he was planning his escape for thousands of years, so he's gotta be at least a few thousand years old. I would say anywhere in between 2 and 3 thousand years would be reasonable. I could see him being older than that, but 2 thousand would definitely be the minimum. Dr. Julian is also pretty old. He's got a ton of wrinkles and white hair too. When he died before season 3, I guess he was 80 or in his late 70s. But when he died the first time, I think it was at least a decade before the present, around when Garmin was banished, so he'd have been 70 then. I'd say he was around 30 when he built Zane, making him 80 50 years later. Borg is also probably in his 30s, and he looks pretty young too. I mean, his hair is still dark, no wrinkles on sight, and his voice is young sounding as well. Pixel's gotta be pretty young. She was created sometime between seasons 2 and 3, and it really is a question of how much time has passed since that time skip, and I'd guess around 4 years would be realistic. It's pretty weird when you consider that Zane is 70 and Pixel is 4. When I said earlier that some of these estimations wouldn't make any sense, I mainly was referring to Chen. Around the time of the Serpentine War, Chen seems to be 30 or so. He's a sensei and a master of manipulation. But 40 years later, in season 4, there is no way he's 70. He looks more to be in his 50s. But then he'd have been 20 during the war, which makes no sense when you consider a student-teacher relationship with Klaus and Garmadon. He definitely seemed older than that. So in the present day, early 60s would make the most sense when he died. But then again, Ninjago's timeline is just messed up. Klaus is easier to say. He's likely a teenager or young adult during the war, which would make him around 55 in the modern day. It's still pretty weird if you consider that Chen could only be 10 years older than him, but it makes the most sense. Klaus has a few wrinkles and a deeper sounding voice, so he'd probably be in his 50s. And lastly is Skylar. She does seem older than most of the ninja, and she has a lot more independence too. And I would also say just based on her voice acting, I mean, her voice acting is less childish than some of the other ninja, so I think 19 would probably be good for Skylar. And there you have it. Those are my estimations for the ages of the ninja and the important characters from seasons 1 to 4. Stay tuned for part 2, which should hopefully come out within the next week. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share with anyone ever you know. Let me know your estimations for the characters mentioned in this video, and I will see you next time.